we are discussing the divisions of unit and dimensions. Now we are discussing the unit and dimensions. The division of unit and dimension, first we have described the physical quantities. First we have to describe the physical quantities. What is the physical quantities? Those quantities which are measurables. Those quantities which are measurable is called physical quantities. First we have to define the physical, what is the definition of? Quantities, those physical quantities, those quantities which are measurable is called physical quantities. That are measurable, which are physical quantities. Are those quantities? Are those quantities which are measurable? Which are which are measurable. Uh, after that, there are two types of physical quantities. There are two types of physical quantities. There are two types of physical quantities. First physical quantity is a scalar quantity. A scalar. The type of physical quantity. The first physical quantity is the scalar quantity, and the second quantity is vector quantity. And the second physical quantity is vector quantity. Now we are defining the definition of the scalar quantity and the vector quantity. The scalar quantities are those physical quantities which have which have which have only magnitude only magnitude. Vector quantities are those quantities which have which have magnitude and dimension. Magnitude plus direction. Plus those physical quantities which have only magnitude, that physical quantity is known as scalar quantities. Vector quantities are those quantities which physical quantity which have magnitude and direction that is called the vector quantities. Examples of scalar quantities are work, work mass, speed. These are called the scalar quantities. Now, what are the examples of vector quantities? Force. Displacement, force, displacement, momentum, force, displacement, momentum, torque, force, displacement, momentum, velocity, velocity, acceleration, these are called Vector quantities. Now the homework is that define the physical quantities. We have to write the definitions. After that, there are fundamental quantities. We have to write the fundamental quantities also. After that, to write the supplementary units which is used in physics, I write the fundamental quantities and physical quantities also.